Prepare yourself. Thank you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of welterweight action between Ricky... Opening round scheduled for ten. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. A few years ago, Ricky Hatton was named the fighter of the year. Now potentially a fight of the year fight because he's going up against a power puncher with bad intentions. We're talking about going up. If you want to climb that boxing ladder that I like to talk about, get to the top, you're going to have to deal with guys who can bang a little bit. Hatton is going to have to show some defense tonight. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Keep your head moving. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Hatton starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Holds in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Ricky the Hitman Hatton with a big right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. That's a nice combination, left hook to the body, right hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. See how he targets that hook? Holtz giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. That's it. That's it. Good block by Holtz. Let's go. The fight is too close. Here we go, round two is underway. Hatton's looking like he's refreshed for this round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Holtz left, landing well. Scored well up top. Holtz now feeling the after effect of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Hatton's lucky that the referee didn't see that. I can't believe he just got away with a headbutt. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. And now he scores well with a straight right. Ricky Hatton's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Not able to land the headshot. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whip. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Locks it away. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing. That left hand by Ricky Hatton. And now the ref gets involved and warns him for headbutting. Gets rid of that body shot. Tremendous body work by both guys as they stand right there on the inside and trade. Now it's up to somebody off of that body work to bring it upstairs. Do something more than stay in the basement. Go visit the attic every once in a while. What's the hook? Now a well-placed hook to the head. Unable to score with the hook. To the head he goes with a left hand. Holt's got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch score. There ain't a way you catch him. You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. And round number three is underway. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton's well off the mark that time. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Ricky Hatton. They try.
trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Ricky Hatton smashed by an uppercut. Colts just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Very nice defensive guard there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Oh, good exchange there. Carries that punch away. Hatton's losing a point here. He headbutted again. The referee's seen enough. He's taken away a point. Combo lands to the head. Ricky Hatton's able to land a good, solid left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Colt's punch is far off the target. He digs in with a left hand to the body. He gets rid of that effort. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Ricky Hatton. And that's the end of round three. Round number four is underway. Ricky Hatton's got to feel pretty good about where things stand right now because he's still very much in this fight. It's anybody's fight, an even fight on your score. Yeah, I think actually it's going to become a fight of attrition. Whoever's in better shape because this is every round being contested. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for us. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counterpunch. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. That was a miss by Holt. Devastating blow by Ricky Hatton. He just missed that shot up top. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Holt's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. In and out, in and out, in and out. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Holt's hit by a counter punch there. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Ricky Hatton. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And round four comes to an end. Holt's eye is shut. Teddy, what has to change for him now? Well, right now, he's got to cover up that weakness. You know, he's got to make adjustments for that, as you just touched on. He's got to move the other way. You know, move in a way where he's not so vulnerable to that punch, to that side. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Ricky Hatton's combination punching is working well here. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. Time. Keep working the jam. Oh, that's Run. good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Ricky Hat. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That 
That's a forceful two-punch combo by Ricky Hatton. He's working a jam. He's got head movement. Hatton's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Ricky Hatton. Uppercut. He's in bad shape. Clinch. Beat him in a punch. Hands up. Hands up. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Patton's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. And the round comes to an end. You know, so many times we will advise guests of ours sitting ringside to not wear white. Now you know why. Look at these two bleeding all over the place. Now you would suggest they bring an umbrella. I mean, it is that bad. Not much action as he just ties up. Good one, too, by Ricky Hatton. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Scores with the uppercut. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Ricky Hatton's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. Hatton's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Keep working the body. Punch was very effective. He scored well. Nice work by Holtz. And he ties up on the inside. Ricky Hatton's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. He missed with that headshot. Inside, inside. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. And round six comes to an end. You can have the best game plan in the world, but when your eyes shut closed like that, everything changes. But one thing doesn't change, Joe, and that's the mentality of a warrior. You find a way. You do not give in, you find a way, you concentrate harder, and you see with that one eye what you need to see. Hatton's got a good understanding of how to approach it. And bang, and away he goes. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, you get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Three. Ricky Hatton's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Holt's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Big shot. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Ricky Hatton's going to have to pull himself together here. Now, he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit Three. of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do... And yet another big shot comes in. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two...
four, five, six. Can Ricky Hatton find a way? He went down and now beating the count and looking to continue and survive. Well, I think a lot of us wanted to find out what would happen when this moment came, if it did come. Right now, Hatton wants to find out, too. Holt's showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that, yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary. here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Focus. One, two, three, four, five, five. Get to your six, seven, eight, get up. nine. Get up. Get up. Hatton's still in a tough spot here. Don't just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Eighth round has started. If things don't change course right now, his opponent is going to start pulling away. Yeah, because that's what happens. You know, boxing's about human nature. You leave somebody alone, guess what? They're not going to leave you alone. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Ricky Hatton's night could be over here. This could be the end. Holt's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Kendall Rinaldo Holt.